Rob, yeah, three days, exactly. Can you believe it? The excitement is building. But look, you don't want to hear from me. Let's hear from one of the players that will be playing in this tournament in three days' time. Beth Mead, thanks for joining us live on Sky Sports thanks News. Look, Beth, first of all, just how are you feeling going into this? Yeah, um, I think we're super excited. I think, obviously, we're starting to build a buzz. The tournament's very, very close from starting now and our first game. And, yeah, I think the girls are super excited, as I am. Um, you know, we just want to get out there now and show people what we're about. Have you had a chance to kind of visualise and think about what it's going to feel like walking out? 75,000 people, a packed Old Trafford on Wednesday night. It's hard not to. Um, I think, you know, the games that we've had at home recently, the buzz has been amazing and that's just a fraction of what we're going to get at Old Trafford. So I think, you know, it gives you goosebumps thinking about it. Um, to be a part of it, I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. How are you going into this? Because obviously, you know, you're a player of the match coming off the bench against the Netherlands. I mean, you must be thinking, I couldn't do any more to start, could I? I'm doing my best. <laughs> yeah, um, there's great competition in the team. Um, you know, we're pushing each other day in, day out in the games. You know, people are coming on, making a big impact. Um, we're all trying to put ourselves in the shop window. Um, and at the end of the day, Serena's choice, but we're doing the best we can and we want to bring it to this team. You've obviously been focusing on the on-field preparations for the last, what, four or five weeks now in camp. Mm -hmm. But have you thought about what it's going to be like when this wave of kind of excitement and euphoria hits the fans with sold out crowds and what it's, what it's going to feel like when actually the tournament gets going? Yeah, like I said to you earlier, I think we're here at the moment and there's not a lot going on. Um, it's nice at the time, but we're excited to be a part of the buzz, uh, be amongst it all, and that's only going to give us energy and the good energy that we need, you know, to go into games. And we're going to need it during the game, you know, to get us through sometimes. Not everything's going to go our way. And, yeah, hopefully the fans can help us along the way with that. So much has been made about, obviously, what the starting eleven is going to be, your position in the team. Leah Williamson's position in the team. What's that like when you're just like, hang on a minute, let's talk about me going into this. This is, this, is, this is weird, right? Yeah, I mean, it is, but at the end of the day, it's credit to the, all of us girls. I mean, we're giving each other a lot of competition. You know, coming off the bench, we're all making an impact. We're changing the game. We're bringing it to the next level. And again, it's a team sport and everyone's going to be super important over the summer. Yeah, the consensus is England have probably one of, if not the most, stacked squad going into this. So how confident can we be as England fans going into this tournament how excited can we be I think we we should be excited um, you know we've got a great team we've got great depth and quality in the team and you know we've got to put that on the pitch and we trust in everybody in this squad and you know if it's not going our way first half you know we've got people in the second half and the players that we believe in that can do the job so yeah England Austria three days time at a packed out Old Trafford. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Actually, it's weird when I arrived here today. We saw an Austria flag and, the, and the, one of the youth teams here playing an Austria kit. It was very confusing because mm -hmm. I, I was like, the game's not till Wednesday. But Austria won that game, the under-18s game, 2-1. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen on Wednesday, no, is it? No, we won't allow There you go. Best says it's not going to happen. So there you go. Take it as, take it as certain that England are getting off to a winning start. <coughs>